Having a baby is always an exciting and scary time. But when this mother saw what she had given birth to, she couldn't stop screaming. In 2017, Dara Crouch thought that her second pregnancy could hold no secrets. The labor and delivery nurse had already gone through everything once when she had her first child three years ago, a daughter who she and her husband Eric had named Neeland. At the time, the 29-year-old woman from Columbus, Georgia in the United States of America thought that her second pregnancy would be just as simple as the first and that she would be welcoming her second daughter into the world before long. Having worked at St. Francis Hospital for seven years, Dara had made many friends and she was lucky to have her best friend and fellow nurse, a woman called Camille, assist with her pregnancy. Dara had even told her friends that she believed that she would be having a second daughter and that she was glad that Camille would be there to welcome her into the world. Despite her and her husband deciding not to learn the gender of their child before it was born, Dara was certain that she was pregnant with another girl. I just knew I was having a girl, Dara said in an interview. But how could she be so sure of the sex of her baby when she hadn't had the ultrasound scan to confirm whether it was a boy or a girl? Well, for the last 50 years, no one on her mother's side of the family had given birth to anything but girls. Even Dara herself had given birth to a daughter the very first time that she had been pregnant. Despite the family lineage of women, Dara's husband had faith that this pregnancy would be different. He thought from the beginning that it was a boy. Dara said in an interview, I was not so convinced, she admitted. The day finally came when Dara went into labor. She and her husband had arranged beforehand for their friend and professional photographer, Neely Kerfox, to join them in the birth of their child so that she could take photographs of the moment when he was brought into the world. Neely had happily agreed, as it was something that she had done before and she couldn't help but think that getting to photograph her friend giving birth to her second child would be a wonderful thing to do. And the photos that Dara would have afterwards would be something that she could treasure for the rest of her life. Once Dara had realized that she was going into labor, she knew that she had a little bit of time before she needed to get to the hospital. Being a delivery nurse herself, she knew that as long as her contractions were far apart, she wasn't ready to give birth yet. With this knowledge in mind, the mom-to-be and her husband were able to calmly and quickly collect everything they would need for a stay in the hospital before making their way to the building so that they could finally say hello to their new baby. Once the couple were settled into the hospital, they knew that they would be in for a little bit of a wait. Dara wasn't dilated enough to begin pushing for quite a while, so she and her husband had time to talk and discuss what they thought the baby would be and what they would name it once it was born. After a few hours of labor, Dara started to feel the pain of her contractions getting worse and worse. She knew that she would be giving birth soon and her baby was almost ready to be born. After checking with the nurses, who confirmed her theory, Dara was taken into the birthing ward. It was only as she was almost ready to push though that she began to think that perhaps she wouldn't be giving birth to another daughter. It never really set in that this baby could be a boy until just a few minutes before he was born, she said. And with this realization came a handful of uncertainties. I started freaking out because I had never been around a little boy and didn't know much about raising one. Even Dara's friend Neely said that she noticed the sudden change in Dara just before she began giving birth. Five minutes before it was time to start pushing, the couple again started thinking about the possibility of a boy, said Neely, who noticed a sweet motherly apprehension in Dara. Finally, the time came for Dara to start pushing. Before she knew what had happened, her labor was over and her midwife, Melissa, was holding up her brand new baby. But when Dara looked at her newborn child, she couldn't help but scream a little bit in shock. She had given birth to a baby boy. When my midwife, Melissa, held him up, I was in complete shock. It was a boy and I lost it, said Dara. Neely, who had been present and taking photographs during the entire birthing process, recalled Dara gushing with excitement. Oh my gosh, it's a boy. I can't believe it's a boy, she said. Neely was able to capture the exact moment that Dara realized that she had given birth to a son. Her photos show Dara wide-eyed and mouth agape at the sight of her newborn son 
as she looked over to the camera in complete astonishment. I've seen surprises, but Dara had by far the most genuine reaction, Neely said in an interview. Being her job to photograph new mothers as they meet their child for the very first time, Neely had seen a lot of different births and parents' reaction to them. In my over 100 births I've photographed, I've seen all kinds of reactions, Neely said in an interview. Yet despite her experience, this particular moment was charged with such raw emotion that Neely found herself in tears. When Dara looked over at me and I captured this reaction, I busted into tears behind the camera. The precious moment between Dara and her son, who she and her husband decided to name Liam, was quickly shared online, where it gained thousands of likes and comments from people all over the world. People couldn't help but feel genuine joy at the sight of the new mother so shocked at the fact that she had given birth to a son. They thought that it was a wonderful reminder that whilst giving birth can be quite painful, it is definitely all worth it in the end when you finally get to meet the baby that you've been carrying for nine months of your life. As Neely said, No matter what we have, the love we have for our kids is instantaneous and overwhelms every cell in our bodies. When asked about her reaction to her son and whether or not she was happy to have given birth to a boy, Dara said that, As a labor and delivery nurse, you get the emotions going on in the room. You sometimes bond a lot when you've been taking care of someone for 12 plus hours. But nothing compares with the excitement I felt with Liam. Dara and Eric quickly bonded with their new son and couldn't wait to introduce their three-year-old daughter to her new brother. Neely happily took photographs for the family, showing all of them as one big happy family. Upon telling her mom and the rest of her family that she had given birth to a boy, Dara's family couldn't believe it. They were so excited and amazed that the 50-year run of nothing but girls had finally been broken. They couldn't wait to see the new little ball of sunshine and show him just how much he meant to all of them. After spending the night at the hospital, Dara and Liam were allowed to go home after the doctors made sure that everything was okay with both the mom and her baby. Once back at home, Liam quickly settled in. Liam is doing great, said Dara. He loves to eat and watch his big sister play, and he loves to smile at his daddy. Since then, Dara and her family have lived happily in their home in Georgia. Neeland and Liam have both grown into wonderful young people who are more than ready to take on the rest of the world. What an incredible story! What do you think your reaction would be if you gave birth to the first boy in your family in 50 years? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos. If you can't wait for new stories, you can simply head on over to our channel to find lots more amazing content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.